Magandang araw Pilipinas at uh, maligayang pagbabalik sa Copa Paulino Alcantara. It's been a while that we have been away from club football scene and after a couple of months, we are back. And our first game for today will be Don Bosco Garelli United against Philippine Air Force FC. My name is Jamer De La Cruz on the commentary for this match. This will be an exciting encounter between the newcomers Don Bosco Garelli United against one of the returning names in Philippine club football, Philippine Air Force FC. In a few minutes, we will have a kickoff. But before we do so, we would like to thank you all for joining this stream and make sure to share this live broadcast of the Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023. We are live on Facebook and uh, YouTube. So make sure that you do share the stream and follow all the socials of the Philippines Football League. For you to get updates about the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Starting lineups for today for Don Bosco Garelli United goalkeeper Anoni Cabra, Michael Bedia, James Mansueto, formerly player of Mendiola FC 1991, suiting up now for the boys in uh, orange and uh, we will have the ceremonial walk-in of the players as we continue to take a look on the starting lineups for Don Bosco. Both sides ready to kick things off. In the Copa Paulino Alcantara, a refreshed and a reinforced season of the top flight Philippine Club Football Cup Tournament. Format for this competition will be a single round elimination as all the teams will face each other one time. And all the best uh, two or top two teams in all of the groups, groups A to C, as well as two best third place teams will progress to the knockout stages of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Having a quick look at the young, dynamic side of Don Bosco Garelli United. We haven't heard much about this team, but we know that they have been preparing for this moment to step into the historic Rizal Memorial Stadium and give back to the Don Bosco community. Meanwhile, the Philippine Air Force are back and they will be back with a vengeance. It's been a while since we've seen them but here are the starting lineups for the Philippine Air Force FC. Some fam familiar names out there. Team captain Joel Baloalio will be leading the pack for the boys in blue and yellow. 
Daddy Poderoso, also a former member of Mendiola FC 1991, now suiting up for our mighty Air Force. Substitutes are really great to see as well with Chester Gio Pabual and the UAAP MVP joining the Philippine Air Force as well as all other players who stood up in the collegiate level. Our referees for this match, Mick John Pineda assisted by Paul Galicia, Michael Barajas and our fourth official will be Relly Balila. few moments before kickoff the Philippine Air Force FC the last time that we've seen them probably back in the 2013 or 14 season of the uh, old format of the club football senior in the Philippines the United Football League after winning their uh, trophy in the UFL Cup sadly the squad has deteriorated and uh, moved down to Division 2 of the said league but after years and years of preparation finding the key players that could suit up for the squad now they are back at the top flight scene meanwhile with don bosco just trying to get some experience in the top flight club football scene as well here in the philippines looking to show what they've got here in this competition so the opening match of the copa paulino alcantara is on their way Don Bosco Garelli United playing from left to right, sporting their all orange kits, while Philippine Air Force FC are on their traditional blue and yellow stripes. <laughs> Philippine Air Force right away getting the possession. It'll be interesting to see how the Air Force are going to play. We know they play a no-nonsense football type of game sometimes too physical in the olden days but during the pre-match press conference they've said that it's going to be a new look for their side the armed forces side of the Philippines will have a different look this time playing alongside the level of the top teams in Philippine club football Air Force with possession. Givada couldn't get to the ball, but a long pass forward for Air Force, easily gathered by Anoni Cabra. And uh, rolls it out real quick for Banjo Mahinay for his first few touches of the game. Long ball forward, headed away by Givada. Air Force was able to kick out the pressure, but it stays on for Don Bosco. Now they can clear it out. Calm and composed for the Armed Forces side of the Philippines. We've known them for the years and years ago, fielding the players like Chifi Caligdong, Aya Naraneta, and of course, who could forget the ageless Yanti Barsales, who's also in the mix in today's lineup although he's going to be uh, starting from the bench later on in this game throw in for philippine air force easily gathered by don bosco garelli and it's out for possession for the boys in orange So again, a couple of familiar names, household names in Philippine club football suiting up for different sides in this Copa Paulino Alcantara. The main goal is to see the level of football here in the Philippines with spreading all of the talents that the Philippines have right now. And Bosco with possession, intercepted by Angelo Obero, sends it forward looking for the wingman, number five, John Bernard de, de la Riarte inside the box cleared away by Don Bosco shot from distance high wide and not so handsome for Philippine Air Force first try on goal for boys in blue and yellow Let's inside the box again. cleared away by cleared Don Bosco away. shot for a strike from Albor Jr 
couldn't get the right cushion of the ball out there. Don Bosco Garelli being pressured on by Philippine Air Force. Cabra almost spilt it. Nobody with him out there. Now he sends the ball forward looking for his teammates. Cleared out by Philippine Air Force once again. Player number 17, Jed de la Riarte, gets the ball. Obero couldn't gain possession for Air Force, but they win it now. And number 29, that's Poderoso, gets it over to the right side of the pitch. Now they're going to play it compact in the middle. Plays it back to Kent Guevara. Now Cadiz intercepted once more by Don Bosco Garelli United. Trying to play it from the back, but the pressure stays on for Philippine Air Force. Intercepted once more by Cadiz. Now a clearance. Gets the ball to Obero. Gets it through the legs of the defender, but couldn't find the teammate. Air Force showing some signs of how they were playing in the olden days of Philippine club football. This is how Philippine Air Force like to play. High pressure, high intensity in the first few minutes of the match. It's just five minutes, but it already feels like they've been playing for 10 minutes already. gets possession not a great first touch for De La Riarte but sends it forward cleared away by the defender now Don Bosco have a chance on a counter attack easily thwarted by Jed De La Riarte Ken Guevara checking for options no foul is called by the referee and now Don Bosco is off on a counter attack goalkeeper is off the line the go and the referee says it's offside but Don Bosco Showing some signs of early pressure the first few minutes of the match. Had he been a step late for that pass, he could have been offside. I think that was Antonio, or rather that was George Baker. So now Air Force. We'll play it forward through Carl Bronda. Carl sends it forward, looking for Obero on the left side. Just couldn't get on his strides. The ball will go out for a throw in. Don Bosco naman ang susugod. Sa possession na ito. Dorego. Binigay kay James Mansueto. Sueto inahanap si Norman Nio. Bola pa rin ang Don Bosco Garelli United. Great one two. Sa left side. Babalik ang bola sa Don Bosco at uh, may foul na ibibigay ang ating referee dito. Seven minutes into the game. First free kick for Don Bosco Garelli United in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Short one towards Michael Bedia. Babalik ang bola sa likod. Ahagi sa harap. Ngunit makukuha ng Philippine Air Force. Baker. Don Bosco, hindi maiikot ang bola ng maayos. Philippine Air Force with great pressure. The young boys in orange throw in for Philippine Air Force taken quickly. Great control from John Bernard de la Riarte. Long ball forward. And uh, his brother, if we're not mistaken, Jed de la Riarte just couldn't get to the ball. Now Don Bosco with their own version of a counter attack. George Baker just not alert to the possibility. Babalik ang ball is a Philippine Air Force. Carl Bronda. May makahanap ng opening ang Philippine Air Force. Isang maayos ng depensa so far para sa Don Bosco Garelli. He 
Easy does it para kay Jose Zaldi Abraham. Air Force ngayon ang gagawa ng play galing sa likod. Roy Cadiz, ibinalik kay uh, Albor Jr. Ay nahanap sila ng pasa sa harap kay Dari Poderoso. Long ball forward. Deflection from Don Bosco from uh, player number 12, John Salamoding. Pabalik ang bola sa Air Force. Cadiz. Pabalik sa likod kay uh, Baloayo. Baloayo, long ball forward. No one up front for Philippine Air Force as of the moment. Chance on the right side. Cutting into the middle for Air Force. Great one, two. Now Air Force on the offensive. Just couldn't get through the wall of Don Bosco. Now George Baker in possession for the boys in orange. Only a man up front. They use it for Norman Neo. It's going to be ushered out for the goalkeeper, Abraham. Cadiz. Tangan ng bola para sa Philippine Air Force. Bronda. Air Force iniikot ang bola. Binibigyan ng chance ang kanilang wings. Another long ball forward looking for Jed De La Riarte, But the ball is too close to the goalkeeper. Para sa mga nanonood sa ating uh, live stream. If you want to catch the games live at the Rizal Memorial Stadium, please do not hesitate to come down here. It's free admission for everybody. We have a great second game as well. Etuloy si Don Bosco facing Philippine Army in the second match of the opening day of Copa Paulino Alcantara. Foul against Philippine Air Force, second foul of the game. Army in the second match of right now the for Don Bosco. Bosco. Let's see this one again. A tackle from foul. Bronda judged for a foul by our referee, Mick John Pineda. Dorego, babalik ang bola sa likod. First 11 minutes of the match, both teams feeling each other out, trying to test the waters and see where they could find the opening. Baloalio with a clearance, goes out for a throw in. Poor touch from Don Bosco. Ball goes out for throw in for Philippine Air Force. They go for the quick counter as player number 29, Dari Poderoso, gets it over to the left side for player number 18, Angelo Obero. Obero still with possession, takes it back to Guevara. Intercepted by Don Bosco, but Philippine Air Force remain with possession. Michael Bedia with great defensive effort for the boys in orange. Now Bronda. 1-2 with De La Riarte. Now, Philippine Air Force with a chance. They're going to take it back. Obero is calming things down. Takes it back to Cadiz. And now the ball is with Albor Jr. Forward pass. in Hanap dito to see Dari Poderoso. Right wing is not working as of the moment for Philippine Air Force in the first 13 minutes of the match. Goal kick for Don Bosco finding the options. Neo heading it to the path of one of his teammates, Carl Castillo. That he's going to be judged for a foul against Air Force. Oh, Air Force with a free kick. Try to send it over to the left wing for Obero. Michael Bedia putting the pressure on there. While we are enjoying 
the festivities of the opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Don't forget our very own Philippine women's national football team will be having its debut in the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup starting the 21st of July where they will face one of the toughest sides in women's football to open their campaign. Dunedin. They will be facing Switzerland in the first game. And they will face the hosts, New Zealand, in the second game in Wellington Regional Stadium. And they will cap off their group stage match against Norway on the 30th. It's Eden Park. Jans off to New Zealand. So, sa mga kababayan natin na nandiyan sa New Zealand, make sure to show your support for our Filipinas. Back to the action here. The Copa Paulino Alcantara. Bronda looking for the long ball forward. He's going to get it through to one of his teammates. Don Bosco wins possession once more. Spreading it wide to Michael Bedia, but just couldn't get it on time. Air Force with possession once more. Cleared out. Good thing the roof is there, otherwise the ball will go straight to the broadcast panel. Here's a throw in for Philippine Air Force. Obero putting on the pressure. Ball will roll out for a goal kick. We're past the first quarter of the match and it's still nil-nil. Interesting setup for both sides using the long ball rather than the short route of passing. We're seeing the traditional style of football here in the Philippines. We've seen this kind of game in the past and we're seeing it back. So a little bit of nostalgia for our football fans out there. Now Salamoding gets it to player number 11 Carl Castillo and Philippine Air Force will be called for a foul we're now seeing a little bit of a glimpse gets it to player number 11 Carl Castillo, Castillo and Air Force Philippine Air Force will be called for a foul we're now so far not all of these sides have breached the back of the net clears it out as well we almost forgot Philippine Air Force also played in the 2019 version of the Copa Paulino Alcantara in their efforts to revive their squad sadly the pandemic hit everyone here in the Philippines and prevented their comeback in the top flight football scene but it's a welcoming sight right now here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium with fans coming in to watch the games once more it's free admission for everybody so if you have plans of watching the second game between Tuloy and the Air Force you can drop by and watch the games for free Don Bosco showing some efforts in attack it's caught by the offside flag now Don Bosco wins possession. Great dribble out there from Dorego, but intercepted by Philippine Air Force. Jed de la Riarte looking for the right winger. Gets it past the defender. Can he cross the ball? No, he won't. Takes a strike. Saved by the goalkeeper, Anori Cabra. First shot on target the right for winger. Philippine Air Force. Let's see this once more. Gets it past the defender. Great run on the right side Can from the Jan. Ball? No, he won't. Takes a strike. Saved Takes by the goalkeeper, Anori Cabra. But the goalkeeper is alert to the possibility. The pressure stays on with the first corner of the match for Philippine Air Force.
Bodies inside the box for the boys in blue and yellow. Short corner, nobody there. Strike from distance, first time strike from Roy Cadiz. Box Just sends it the over the bar. Blue and yellow. Short corner, take nobody a look there. once more. Strike from the distance, first time there. strike. Just couldn't get the right footing on that attempt. Philippine Air Force have been milking most of the possession in the first 20 minutes of the game, producing three chances on goal. Only time will tell when they can convert. Ball goes out for a throw in. Meanwhile, Don Bosco has yet to record a shot on target or even on goal in this game. Throw in was too strong for Barker to get. Now Obero couldn't get it in play, so throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. Here's the throw in from uh, Salamoding. Pedia throws the ball. Too many bodies in blue and yellow, but they're going to be judged for another foul. Dari Poderoso just uh, pleading his apologies to the referee and the player from Don Bosco. So free kick right now for the boys in orange. Long ball forward. Pass the defender, a strike just wide of the left post. Here's the free kick once more for Don Bosco. It's a pass, one of the defenders, but just couldn't get it on target for their first shot. Meanwhile, back to live action. Philippine Air Force couldn't convert on the other side. Waiting in the wings are the young boys of Tuloy FC. Ready to show their skills and talent against Philippine Air or Philippine Army in the second game. Decent amount of crowd right now here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium as Philippine Air Force goes for the counterattack. Obero gets the through ball, but great tackle from Salamoding to clear the ball out. Clean as a whistle out there for Don Bosco. Free Mick John Pinez is just checking on the goalkeeper of Don Bosco, Anoni Cabra. Feeling something in his legs. Hopefully not too serious for him to be taken out of this game. But as soon as the coaching staff of Don Bosco saw their goalkeeper going down, up comes their substitute keeper, Adrian De Sola, preparing on the touchline. Might have been a hit on the hamstring for Cabra. And um, he just walks it off. So after the magic spray, walking it off like a tough man that he is. Corner right now for Philippine Air Force, just their second of the match. He's going to be taken by Angelo Obero. They went for the short route earlier. Will they go for the middle of the park this time? Goes straight to the goalkeeper. Albor Jr. just couldn't control it. Take a shot. Babalik ang bola sa Philippine Air Force. Great one, two on the right side, inside the box. Saved by the goalkeeper, oh no. It was not a good sign. As soon as he jumped for that ball, he knew something is wrong. Feel it in his legs. 
and uh, it seems like the day is going to be done for number 40, Anoni Cabra. So their backup goalkeeper, Adrian De Sola, preparing in the wings to sub in for the injured Cabra. Seems like the preparation has taken its toll on this young squad of Don Bosco, Garelli United, particularly to their goalkeeper, Anoni Cabra. We hope he's going to come back stronger in the upcoming games in the Copa. So the substitution is there. Confirmation as Sola comes in for Cabra. Philippine Air Force wins possession once more. Going into the final third. Great through pass. But the pace is not there for Antonio Albor Jr. Shout out to some of our viewers on the live stream. Jello Medina, Kent Garcia, Gemma Cadiz, uh, John Jun Sensil, uh, Vincent Paul Ampani, and uh, Louis Joshua Polinag, thank you so much for joining the stream in our Facebook. Medea takes it back to Salamoding. Barker gets it over to Abada. Intercepted right now by Philippine Air Force. Advantage is called by the referee. Great through pass. He finds De La Riarte on the left side. Inside the box! Cleared away by Don Bosco, but the pressure stays on. Oh, what a strong tackle. Didn't got the right timing in the yellow card for Salamoding. When he was getting all things right in the first few minutes of the game, let's take a look at this late effort from Salamoding to clear the ball. Strike to the stomach of player number 29, Dari Poderoso. But he's an armed forces man. He's going to get back up stronger than that. And now a free kick for Philippine Air Force. Jet de la Riarte. Could try to curl this one in, but it's going to be a tight spot. Not a great angle right now for him. Plenty of options inside the box, though. So let's see how they will play this out. Here's the delivery. Tried to curl it in, but cleared away by Don Bosco. And as soon as they get possession, they go for the quick counter attack. That's going to be cleared out by Cadiz. magtampo rin siya. Pa-shoutout din daw for Nick Jacob for watching this game. LGL Abrena, shoutout to John Paul Bobita. Halfway point of the first half and it's still nil-nil. Don Bosco asking for possession as they felt the ball went out but Air Force regains it through a throw in unlike the old 
style of Philippine Air Force wherein they just send a long ball forward looking for their target man. They're now getting a little bit more tactical and playing the ball from the back and finding the right options for them. It's just not working as of the moment, but all of the style of play here in the Copa Paulino Alcantara will be work in progress. Nervy moments there for Don Bosco Garelli as that ball almost went inside the box from the clearance of Air Force. Barker spreads it wide but intercepted by De La Riarte. De Sola gets possession for Don Bosco Garelli. Plenty of known figures out here in the opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. You have former Ascos legend in the bench for Philippine Air Force, Yanti Barsales, and one captaining Philippine Air Force. Joel Balawalio, also a former ASCO center back. Great pass, but he wouldn't get there. De La Riarte just couldn't get it to the other De La Riarte on the left side. Jaime Ayuban, thank you so much for watching. And uh, shout out din daw kay Jimson Cristal. Maraming salamat sa ating mga followers the Philippines Football League page. And thank you so much for catching the opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Foul against Philippine Air Force, or rather Don Bosco. He's the challenge there. So Albor Jr. is back up on his feet. Again, we're coming to you live from the historic and majestic Rizal Memorial Stadium where plenty of historic matches have occurred or, or have been played in. One of which is the opening of the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara. Jed De La Riarte gets it over to the number five. De La Riarte inside the box, headed away by the other number five, James Mansueto. Corner count piling up right now for Philippine Air Force as this is their third corner of the game. Chance right now for Philippine Air Force in an outswinger of a corner. Here's the delivery inside the box. Great ball inside. The header was not that strong for Dari Poderoso to threaten the gloves of Adrian De Sola. Quick counter attack right now for Don Bosco Garelli on the left side. Player taken down. No foul is called by the referee. Clean tackle as of the moment. And Air Force is going to kick it out for fair play as a player is down. So we will be expecting plenty of names to be introduced later on in this game for Philippine Air Force as they have opened their side for plenty of talents coming from the collegiate side by the likes of Chester Gio Pabualan who recently was named as the UAAP in the or as named as the UAAP in uh, MVP and the newly minted UAAP champion himself. We also have Jerome Ann and VJ Frigiliano. 
Medea with the interception for, Fili oh, for Don Bosco. Philippine Air Force with possession once again. De La Riarte to the middle. Great touch. And here's a strike straight once more to Adrian De Sola. But Dari Poderoso showing some signs of threat. He's just making a statement that I've not been away from that game for so long. After moving from the stable of Mendiola FC 1991 to the Philippine Air Force. Seems like he hasn't lost his touch. Well, the newcomers and the returning clubs are playing in the opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence in our stream, one of the mainstays of Kaya FC, Luilo Simon Erota, watching our game. And the PFL sides will come in more likely on the second round of the matches of the Copa. Great interception for Philippine Air Force, and they are on the counter-attack with player number five, John Bernard De La Riarte. Couldn't dribble past Salamoding. Great display of 1-2 passing for Don Bosco and Barker right now on the counter on the right side inside the box clearance for Air Force but the threat stays on as they get possession once more from Christian Zorbito Don Bosco Barker over to Abada Abada inside the box headed away by the team captain Balawalio Hard-earned first corner of the match for Don Bosco Garelli United. And just like that, in a span of two minutes, Don Bosco and Philippine Air Force has sparked its life in this game. James Dorego, the team captain, to take this corner for Don Bosco Garelli United. Plenty of options inside the box. This will be an out swinger for the boys in orange. Here's the delivery headed away by Air Force. Only as far as another player in orange. Strike from distance. Not going to challenge the goalkeeper there. If we're not mistaken, that has been the third shot already for Don Bosco. Equaling Philippine Air Force efforts. Only difference so far, Air Force have been more threatening on the counter-attacking side. Now, Philippine Air Force once more with a long ball. Wouldn't bother Adrian De Sola this time. Calm and composed. From the back, are right, Don Bosco. Now they're gonna send it forward. Gets past Balualio, but he clears it using the experience out there. Great turn from Bronda. Now Bronda once more. Obero one two towards Obero. Obero switching from left to right this time. Ooh, almost a dispossession out there for Don Bosco, but Philippine Air Force stays with it. Long ball forward, cleared away to the path of Carl Castillo. Poor first touch, and a chance for Air Force to get on the ball. They will clear it out. Michael Badia with possession. Not the pass that he was looking for as it goes straight to Zaldi Abraham. Trying to make something from the middle, but they missed that pass. Poor judgment right now from Abada. A 
just to add a little bit more to the festivities in the opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara, we would like to greet Mia Montaire. A happy, happy birthday. Foul against Don Bosco. It will be possession for Philippine Air Force. Once again, happy birthday to Mia Montaire. One of the mainstays in terms of our media in the Philippine football scene. Great through pass. Danny Poderoso couldn't get a touch, but the offside flag is up. Let's see this once more. Great pass from the back from De La Riarte towards Poderoso. But he's a step early on that chance. Now Don Bosco will try to go for their own version of a counterattack. Strong tackle out there from the Philippine Air Force. Tackle from the back by Obero. Player is down right now for Air Force. So after this game, we'll be having the uh, young side of Tuloy FC facing the veterans and uh, some of the well-known players from Philippine Army in our game at 6.30. Then tomorrow we'll be having great action as well in our Sunday fixture with Davao Aguilas UMAC facing Adamson University in the first game at 4 p.m. And uh, returning Loyola FC will face Club de Football Manila in 6.30 game tomorrow here as well at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. has died down a bit but Philippine Air Force are ready to bring it back up and it was just intercepted by Don Bosco now Barker with the through pass headed away but it still remains with Don Bosco foul against Air Force a little bit of physicality out there four minutes remaining in the first half still scoreless in our opening fixture Nakakatuwa magbasa ng comment sa ating Facebook stream. Isang Top Gun Maverick na goal naman daw from Air Force. Pero ito na ang Don Bosco, Michael Bedia with a strike. Just couldn't get it on target for them. Let's see this once more. The clearance from Air Force. Thought there was a deflection from somebody wearing blue and yellow. But it was judged a goal kick. been a while that we have seen this kind of number in our live stream in the Facebook 1,000 of you watching us live in this game and take note just the opening fixture of the Copa Paulino Alcantara so maraming maraming salamat sa inyong suporta konting consistency lang din po sa panonood maraming salamat po Pataasin pa natin. Make sure to share the stream. Masarap na manood ng football habang nagme-merienda sa hapon na ito. Medyo malamig dahil maulan. Oh! De Sola. That's the second time that he spilt the ball. But again, he's lucky that just bounces in front of him. One more, and it could be dangerous for Don Bosco Garelli. Abada gets it through to Salamodi. Now a through pass for Michael Bedia. Intercepted right now by Albor Jr. Cadiz. De La Riarte. To the other De La Riarte on the left side. 
couldn't keep it in play. So it's out for a throw in. Two minutes and some change remaining in this first half. A lot of people watching all over the Philippines and hopefully all over the world as well. We have viewers from Zamboanga, viewers from Albay, viewers from Antipolo. Viewers as well from Bicol. Hope we go a little bit more down south and uh, find viewers out there from Cebu. Your team's going to be playing as well in the second round of the Copa Paulino Alcantara as the PFL team's coming to play. It's giving them a bit of rest for that nervy and testy ending of the season. With Kaya FC Luilo winning thanks to the favor given to them by Stali Laguna FC in their penultimate match against Cebu. On the other hand, of course, Cebu FC will be looking to make something out of their campaign in the Copa Paulino Alcantara to get a silverware of their own. Throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. Three minutes added on to the first half. So plenty more time for both sides to threaten each other's goals. Foul against Philippine Air Force. In the past, it could have been just a regular tackle, but the game has progressed for the past 10 years, and uh, that nudge is given a foul in favor of Don Bosco. And as we head into halftime, our participants in the second game between Tuloy FC and Philippine Army are getting ready for their made an appearance in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Abraham sends a long ball forward looking for Jed de la Riarte who gets on the ball but the offside flag once again is up against player number 17. Final moments of the first half with the uh, Philippine Air Force losing possession but Taken once more by Dari Poderoso. Obero just couldn't get through the pass. But a foul is going to be called against Don Bosco Garelli United. So free kick right now for Philippine Air Force FC. Probably the last chance of the half. Here's the delivery from the back. Oh! Goes over the bar. It's almost on target. Let's see this once more from Antonio Albor Jr. Strike from distance. Just couldn't get the right angle. Goal kick for Don Bosco. Clearance for Philippine Air Force FC. Salamoding out. Throw in for Philippine Air Force. Cadiz. Bronda. Babalik ang bola sa likod. Kai Albor. Air Force with the long ball forward. Poderoso couldn't get his head to it. And Desola was alert. And that is it for the first 45 minutes of action here at the Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023 between Don Bosco Garelli United and Philippine Air Force FC. As it stands, it's Don Bosco nil, Philippine Air Force nil, halftime stats, analysis, and 
highlights coming to you in a few minutes.
Paparangin yung entrance natin. Pabati may sasakyan. Pabati may sasakyan. Pagkatapos niya. Kasi yung case of emergency, hindi gagawin makalabas ang tao.
Halftime here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. It's Don Bosco Garelli nil, Philippine Air Force nil. And we have plenty of action to watch from that first half as we take a look at some of the highlights. Don Bosco Garelli United tried to go for the quick counterattack, but their player number seven is out for a, um, an offside call there. But on the other side, Philippine Air Force has been piling on the pressure on Don Bosco Garelli United. They've had a change of goalkeeper midway to the first half because of an injury. But so far, Don Bosco Garelli has been holding on their own against one of the veteran sides in Philippine club football. Dangerous pass from De La Riarte earlier. Even this strike from Poderoso straight to the gloves of the substitute goalkeeper Adrian De Sola. So plenty of action to talk about in the first half. A couple of stats to talk about as well. Philippine Air Force with four shots on goal as well as Don Bosco. Two of them being on target for Philippine Air Force. Quarter count is already at four for Philippine Air Force. But the physicality between the two sides are there with six fouls on the Armed Forces side and four on Don Bosco Garelli United. So a couple of substitutions for Don Bosco Garelli United. We've heard from our stadium announcer that Winces Balbino has came on for John Salamoding. And here's the second half of the opening fixture, the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara with Philippine Air Force kicking things off from left to right. Looking to build on the momentum that they have built towards the end of the first half. But make no mistake, as Don Bosco Garelli with their adjustments in halftime will try to go for the counterattack and right on cue with a long ball forward. Don Bosco goes up, but the ball is out for a throw in. It's Norman Neo on the left side. Hasn't been instrumental as of yet. Hasn't been getting much, much, uh, most of the ball in the first half. It's already been established that George Barker, or Baker rather, is their target man. Great pass inside for Dari Poderoso, and an opening goal for Philippine Air Force! Goal! By player number 29, Dari Poderoso, to open things up for Philippine Air Force in the second half of this opening fixture of the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara. Let's see this play once more from Philippine Air Force. Substitute Eric Mauring sends it inside for Poderoso who then controlled it and a lovely volley from player number 29 and he gets his name on the scoring sheet. It's 1-0 for Philippine Air Force. Just taking them a minute and 40 seconds in the second half to open the scoring. Now Don Bosco Garelli United gets possession but intercepted by Philippine Air Force with their substitute in the UAAP MVP. Chester Gio Pabualan already introduced in the professional level the Copa Paulino Alcantara once again the newly minted champion in the UAAP men's football foul against Don Bosco Garelli United a strong tackle on Dari Poderoso quick counter attack and now here's a strike saved by De Sola, it caught everybody by surprise as Jan Bernard De La Riarte goes for the quick counterattack from the free kick. They earned themselves their fifth corner of the game.
This is concerning right now for Don Bosco Garelli United. They already had their substitute goalkeeper came in on the midway of the first half with Anoni Cabra being injured. And right now, Adrian De Sola is being checked by their physio for a possible injury. If he goes out, they don't have any other goalkeepers in their lineup. So they may be forced to use one of their defenders, even midfielder, or if someone with a magical touch from their forwards will have to step in between the six. We're hoping that there's nothing too serious for Garelli right now for their goalkeeper. Hopefully he gets back up. while waiting to see if the goalkeeper is going to be back up on his feet. We'd just like to acknowledge our one of our idols, Ruben Balot Doctora, watching our stream. Idols, and can you see it? Is it in Hawaiian? Or is it in the dorm of Stalin Laguna? Also, some shout-out to our friends from the Emambulacan Highlanders FC, one of the upcoming community clubs in Megawai and Bulacan. So a corner now for Philippine Air Force with a goal advantage. They're looking to add more to it. This will be the corner. Taken by Gio Pabualan, but just couldn't get any of his teammates on that attempt. Air Force stays with possession deep into the territory of Don Bosco Garelli United. Pabualan taking a little bit of a step back from his usual role up front. He's likely playing as an attacking midfielder or a central midfielder right now for Philippine Air Force. Velasco headed away only as far as Cadiz. Inside the box. However, that's going to be called for an offside by our assistant referee. Surprisingly, just the second offside for Philippine Air Force in this game. So with Gio Poboal and already introduced in the match for the Philippine Air Force, expect that some of the other UAAP or even the NCAA standouts will be introduced in this game for Philippine Air Force. We still have VJ for the Gilianos waiting on the wings. As well as Jerome Ang. All things considered, you might see the return of the ageless Yanti Barsales in this game. Philippine Air Force right now battling for possession. Now here's Gio Pabualan with a great through pass for player number five, John Bernard de la Riarte. Cutting inside the box, curling ball in. Easy save for the goalkeeper. Will count as a shot on target for them, but nothing to test. Substitute goalkeeper Adrian De Sola. Velasco heads it away. Here's De La Riarte. To the middle for Poderoso. Intercepted by Garelli, but taken away right away by Philippine Air Force. Here's Velasco on the right side. Exchange passes with Bronda. Velasco once again. Now Pabualan gets possession for Philippine Air Force. Now they take it back to Balawalio, their team captain. Now Albor Jr. 
Cadiz against Medea. We're already seeing some physical game from Don Bosco Garelli United. Under pressure. And hopefully they could take a goal back in this game. It's past Velasco. Abraham called into action, clears the ball out for a throw in. Goalkeeper was alert, made sure that he clears the ball out. Zerbito to take the throw in for Don Bosco. Pabualan with possession, taken away by Don Bosco. That's Dorrego, strike towards the gloves of Abraham. With all of the chances that Don Bosco Garelli has been producing, that's just their first shot on target. They're hoping to add more, but the pressure is being put on right now by Philippine Air Force. Eric Mauring, one of the substitutes who came in and started the second half, has been called for a foul. Now Air Force with possession once again. They're going to calm things down. They have a goal advantage over the newcomers. Don Bosco Garelli, the ball forward. Will Velasco go for the races? He will. Sends it inside the box. De Sola rises to the occasion. Plucks the ball out of the thin air. Pass wasn't on target for Don Bosco. Now the ball is with Dari Poderoso. Pass was too strong for Mauring to control. The ball will go back to Don Bosco. A decent amount of crowd here. The Rizal Memorial Stadium for everybody watching at home who's just near the vicinity. We still have an hour and a half to make it to the stadium for the second game. Baker on the counterattack for Don Bosco. Not a strike, not a pass. We don't know what that is, but it goes out for a goal kick. And who am I seeing out here? Our magical statistician. Anton Santos <laughs> present in the vicinity. So if you want to see 10 shots on goal and 12 on target, he's the man to call. <laughs> Clouds are now getting dark here. There is on Memorial Stadium as the action intensifies. The second half, here's Don Bosco Garelli on the counter attack. Great save, but a strike. Now straight to the goalkeeper. A chance wasted by Don Bosco Garelli. That's Adolfo Abada taking the strike on the rebound, but headed straight to Abraham. In a sense of a comeback, is now being felt amongst the crowd and the supporters of Don Bosco Garelli. Dari Poderoso with the interception, takes a strike. What a lovely save by the Sola. Ball is still in play. Maureen gets to it. De La Riarte down the byline. Inside the box, cleared out. Corner number six for Philippine Air Force. Let's take a look at the action once more. Dari Poderoso with the interception takes a strike against the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper gets his gloves to it. But the rebound was not there for Philippine Air Force. So we'll have another corner for Air Force out here. Chester Gio Pabuallan will take the corner. My guy. Here's the corner. Short one, headed down, not out, for another corner. Papuwalan with another delivery, this time to the middle. Left it for Alborg. Parang pangatlong subok na ni Albor na lumalabas yung tira na yun. 
Always the first time strike. Technique is there, but just couldn't hit it on the right part of the boots. Three minutes into the second half. If you've missed it, Philippine Air Force FC got their opening goal on the 46th minute thanks to Dari Poderosa's lovely volley. They're holding on to that lead as of the moment while Don Bosco Garelli United are forcing them to commit mistakes. They get it over to Pabuala and just couldn't get it through to Dari Poderoso. Garelli will control possession once again. Ball forward intercepted by Philippine Air Force. Ang simoy ng hangin dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium ay lumalamig na. Pero ang action ay umiinit pa rin sa pagitan ng Philippine Air Force at Don Bosco Garelli United. Shout out to Grigio FC from Mandaluyong as De La Riarte is on the offensive scissors on the right side. Now Obero through pass for Pabuwalan with a strike. Saved once again, only as far as one of the defenders and cleared out by Don Bosco Garelli United. And now Pabuala, and after showing his medal in the UAAP, as well as making his debut for the Philippine Nascos and the recent friendlies against Chinese Taipei, now showing his skills in the club football scene with Philippine Air Force in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. A couple of substitutions waiting on the wings for Don Bosco Garelli United. Ball is going to go out for another throw in for Philippine Air Force. Ball is out in favor of Don Bosco Garelli. Throw in for the boys in orange. Through pass, intercepted by Velasco. Gets it over to De La Riarte. Now ring to De La Riarte. Just couldn't control it. And now a time for the substitutions to be introduced. George Baker will make way for Bensi Villanueva after playing most of his season with Maharlika Manila FC. He's now with Don Bosco Garelli United. And uh, Dennis Maglinas will also come in for Michael Bedia. We've had a chance to talk to Bensi Villanueva before the match. And he said that if ever we will be given a chance to give back to the Don Bosco community, I will do everything that I can. And he has about 30 minutes to show what he's got. He had experience in the Philippines Football League with Maharlika Manila. Now he's giving back to the Don Bosco community who gave him a pair of his boots to start his footballing career as he subbed into this match. Manila Digger FC, shout out Din Seño, who will be playing uh, their matches as well in the upcoming weeks in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Welcome to the top flight. Pabuwalan, great through ball towards the path of Obero. Obero just couldn't get a touch to it, but still jostling for the ball. Cleared away to the path of Player number 10, if we're not mistaken. Now a long ball forward. Looking for Neo, but it's intercepted by Baloalio. Now Velasco on the counter attack for the Philippine Air Force FC. Finds Gio Pabualan in the middle, and Pabualan with a strike. High, wide, and not handsome for that handsome number 25. Don Bosco from the back, Zurbito. 
couldn't get the through ball, but ball goes back to Zurbito and Don Bosco Garelli. Villanueva asking for it, wasn't given. Now Delariarte with the interception. Maureen leaves it for Delariarte into the middle right now for Gio Pabualan. Pabualan gets it over to Bronda. Balawalio with possession. Forward pass for put it also once more. Through pass for Maureen, but the pass is telegraphed by the defender. And he kicks the ball out for a throw in. Speaking of flights, if you haven't booked or filed your visas yet for the upcoming FIFA Women's World Cup, make sure to do so to show your support for them. We'll get back to that as Benzi Villanueva has possession, sends it to the right side for player number 13, Maglinas. His striking duo right now. Now Don Bosco on the counter on the right side. Inside the box for Villanueva, blocked! By the defender, but chance will save for Don Bosco Garelli United with Zurbito inside the box for Million Weber once again. Couldn't get his head to it, but Don Bosco stays with possession. Commentators curse as they go for the counter attack now for Air Force. Mauring, what a lovely save once more from Adrian De Sola. What a lovely save once again from the substitute goalkeeper. Keeping them in play and keeping the goal at the minimum of one for Air Force. Flurry of attacks between Air Force and Don Bosco. Shot count piling up now. And Bosco still with possession out here. Castillo. Now intercepted by the Philippine Air Force. Nervy moments from the back with Bronda. Gets it through to Gio Pabualan. Pabualan couldn't get it to Poderoso. Poderoso is down and a foul is called against Don Bosco Garelli. It'll give a chance for substitution for Philippine Air Force as Angelo Obero's day is done for his opening match in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. He'll be replaced by Joel Badia Jr. But we're still waiting to see the legendary legs of that legendary number 11, Yanti Barsales from Philippine Air Force as well. Here's Gio Pabualan with the free kick, headed away by Garelli. Now back to Pabualan, to the right side for Delariarte. Jed, that is. Or rather, that was Jan Bernard Delariarte. Now Pabualan takes it all the way back to Balawalio. Velasco. Looking for the ball inside the box. Two options there with Mauring and Poderoso. But the ball goes out for a throw in. Again, we would like to take this opportunity to invite each and every one of you watching this stream to show your support for the Philippine women's national football team who will have their debut in the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Their opening match on the 21st of July against Switzerland, followed by their game on the 25th against the host New Zealand and capping off the group stages on the 30th against Norway. Those games will be played in Dunedin, Wellington, and Auckland. Hopefully we see you in the games, be it on the live viewing or in the stadium. Abraham clears for Air Force. Garelli gets on the possession. Through pass, looking for player number 21. 
Nio, headed away by Velasco. Now towards Mauring. Poderoso, the goal scorer, tackled by player number 11, Castillo. Clear as a whistle set by the referee and possession regained by Don Bosco Garelli United. Now Garelli on the counter. Villanueva couldn't get a touch to it. Now a chance for Philippine Air Force to go for the counter attack. Poderoso with a quick through ball to Mauring, but telegraphed by the defense. And Garelli now with a chance on the left side for the counter. Great tackle from Velasco. Don Bosco Garelli United wins possession. Couldn't keep it in play. Will they keep it in play? No, they won't, said the referee. So throw in for Philippine Air Force FC. Papualan back to Velasco. Intercepted. And now Don Bosco Garelli United on the counter attack. Couldn't get the through ball. Great defense from one of the legends of the game, Balawalio. So Don Bosco regains possession through this throw in. 20 minutes remaining in this match. Philippine Air Force nursing that one goal advantage over Don Bosco, Garelli United. Interception from De La Riarte. To the middle now for Dari Poderoso. Through pass from Gio Pabualan. Deflected out. Now a chance for a counter. Too strong of a pass from Castillo to Zurbito. The ball will go out for throw in. Mauring gives it back to Balawalio. Mauring still with possession for Philippine Air Force. Takes it all the way back to the center back. Ball goes out for a throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. If they want to make a difference, now's the time to do that as they have about 19 minutes left in this game to equalize or even get a late winner here. Philippine Air Force playing possession on that left side of the field. And with that, they will switch it over to the right side. Here's Velasco. Now, John Bernard de la Liarte for Air Force. He's been producing plenty of chances for the boys in blue and yellow. Long ball forward. Looking for Pabualan on the right side. Pabualan threading the right side, cutting in to the middle. Takes a strike, saved by the goalkeeper once more. Adrian De Sola called into action by the UAAP MVP. He punches it out for a corner. Stoppage in play. I think a player needs a medical attention right here for Don Bosco Garelli. We'll have to check. So far, Philippine Air Force are enjoying their return in top flight club football scene with a goal advantage thanks to Dari Poderoso on the 46th minute.
So their goalkeeper right now is getting some medical attention. It will be interesting to see how Garelli United will play out the remainder of their season with one of their goalkeepers out for an injury today and uh, their substitute goalkeeper in danger of going out. Air Force right now. Still enjoying that lead. So as we see, Adrian Desola getting some medical attention right now from their physio. Seems like it's his left arm that are being checked by their physio. He's been into the thick of the action here at the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Opening day, nonetheless, for the substitute goalkeeper. Might be taking its toll right now on him. But if you notice, he's not being stretchered off. He's not being put into the sideline because of the recent updates in the FIFA regulations wherein the goalkeepers are more protected now compared to the past. Usually in the, in the olden days, a goalkeeper is going to be put into the sideline and another goalkeeper is going to come in or if an infield player is going to step in the middle of the sticks but as the game progresses in the modern age of football they're now giving more focus in the protection of the goalkeepers and in this play you can see that they are protecting the goalkeeper I think there's a bandage on the right eye of uh, the goalkeeper De Sola but now another corner for Philippine Air Force FC. Their ninth corner of the match. Delivery inside the box. Velasco was unable to keep it in play. Strong collision with Velasco there. And the player is down once more for Don Bosco Garelli. You can see the difference in terms of uh, the fitness level as well as the physicality between a new club, an upcoming club in the Philippines Football League or the Copa Paulino Alcantara versus a veteran side in Philippine Air Force. As some of the players are going down and uh, feeling the, the tackles as well as the collisions. So far, they're still getting back up. Let's see how the last 15 minutes of the game will pan out here in the opening fixture of your 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara. Here's Baloalio right now to Velasco. Carl Bronda to Jan Bernard de la Riarte. Now here's Velasco. Couldn't get past the defender. He'll take it back to Baloalio. Long ball forward. Looking for Bedia on the left side. Bedia couldn't get the ball. Maureen puts the pressure. Now Don Bosco Garelli. Trying to keep possession on their side, but it's dispossessed once more by Philippine Air Force. They go all the way back. Back to their goalkeeper, Abraham. John Bernard de la Riarte gives it to Baloalio. Air Force enjoying most of the possession here in the second half after getting that goal in the 46th minute. Dorego gets the ball for Garelli. 
but passes it out for a throw in for Philippine Air Force. Philippine Air Force right now for Mauring. Couldn't get the control. Babalik ang bola sa Philippine Air Force. Isa pang throw in. Bronda. Inigay kay Telariarte. Ngunit iniwan niya para sa teammate niya na si Velasco. Counter attack para sa Don Bosco Garelli United. Possession. Babalik. Sa mga nakakahil. Nio. To Dorego. Pabuwalan. With the touch. Or not. So that's a throw in for Philippine Air Force. Pabuwalan. Cleared out. Babalik ang bola sa Don Bosco Garelli United. Good pass towards the left side. Clearance para kay Balawalyo. Dorego contra Overo. Nio. May tangan ng bola para sa Garelli United. Contra Velasco. Nio. Chansa para sa Garelli United. Strike from distance, pero lalabas ang bola para sa goal kick for Philippine Air Force. Maraming salamat sa panonood, Fitch, Johnson, Davis, Arboleda. Abraham hasn't been tested that much in this game by Don Bosco Garelli. And substitution right now for Don Bosco Garelli as player number 18, John De La Cruz, comes in for player number 11, Carl Castillo. Few adjustments for Garelli to equalize in this game, possibly get a late winner. But they have a mountain to climb in the next 10 minutes, plus added time. Don Bosco Garelli on the counter attack. Into the middle for De La Cruz. Straight to Abraham. Fresh legs from the bench. And De La Cruz right away with his first touch of the ball and his first attempt on goal. He'll give a chance for Don Bosco Garelli in this game if he plays like this. Through pass right now. Bensi Villanueva off to the races. Villanueva gets to the ball down the byline but just couldn't get the ball in play. And it'll go out once more for another goal kick for Philippine Air Force. Ken Ribalobo of Kai FC Luilo, thank you so much for watching as well this game. On opening day and its opening fixture. We've reached about a thousand viewers in Facebook alone. And we'd like to thank you all for supporting the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Paki share po po ang ating stream sa inyong mga kaibigan, kapatid, katropa o kung sino man na gusto nyong introduce sa mundo ng football. Na meron tayong liga na sariling atin. Air Force ngayon ang aatake. Mauring. Binigay kay Pabualan. Pabualan to Poderoso. He's on side. Poderoso. Binalik sa gitna kay Pabualan. Binigay kay Delariarte. Blocked ang kanyang attempt. Ngunit kukunin ng Garelli ang bola. Babalik ang bola sa Philippine Air Force. Walong minuto ang nalalabi sa ating laban. Pabuwalan almost getting it through to the other side for Bedia. And a foul is called against Don Bosco Garelli on a dangerous spot for a free kick. In 
seven minutes and some added time. Going into the second match of opening day of the Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023, it's Tuloy FC going up against Philippine Army FC. So don't go away and watch this space for the live broadcast of that match. Again, we're coming to you live from the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Gio Pabualan with the delivery here from this free kick. Straight to the wall. Gets the possession once more, but the ball goes out for a goal kick. Gio trying to make an impact after his illustrious and colorful season in the UAAP. Playing side by side with one of the legends of the game, Balawalio. Abualan to Poderoso. Now here's Velasco. Velasco looking for a man inside the box, headed out by the defense of Don Bosco Garelli United, who goes for the quick counter attack. Velasco couldn't get the ball. Foul is called against Velasco on a challenge on Neo, which earns him a yellow card in this game. Kung naririnig nyo ang ating crowd at dahil nakita nila na merong isang player from the bench of Philippine Air Force na naghahanda na magbalik sa aksyon dito sa local football scene. Maya-maya lamang ang ating makikita isang player na yan. Don Bosco Garelli ang may possession ngayon. Masyadong malakas ang pasa. Babalik sa Philippine Air Force at right on cue. Substitution for Philippine Air Force FC. The moment we've, wait, we've been waiting for. Dari Poderoso makes way for the returning, the legendary, the ageless Yanti Barsales and Roy Cadiz. Also giving way for VJ Frigiliano. So a mix of the old blood and the young blood in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. And everybody here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium are just feeling the nostalgia. Yung pakiramdam na nakikita mo na ulit maglaro si Yanti Barsales for Philippine Air Force. Mainstays of the Philippine Air Force. Legends of Philippine Ascos. And now for the counter attack, De Sola called into action. But nakikita natin, Yanti Barsales lurking around the penalty box. Nakuha ni Barsales ang bola, binigay kay Mauring. Mauring, babalik sana kay Barsales. Pabualan. Strike. Straight once more to De Sola. If there's something to prove in this game, that is De Sola. If he's called into action, he will show up. Despite conceding a goal against Poderoso, he still kept the game to just 1-0. Three minutes ang natitira sa ating laro. Pabuwalan couldn't get the header for Mauring. Throw in for Don Bosco Garelli. Balawalio with a clearance. Another throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. Three minutes to make a difference. Three minutes to equalize. Nio Balawalio with the interception. Now Pabualan. De La Riarte. Bibigay kay Obero. Barsales, humihingi ng bola. Sumobra ang pasa ni Obero.
De La Cruz. May bola ngayon para sa Don Bosco Garelli. Ngunit ang pasa niya ay makukuha ng Philippine Air Force. Bronda. Binalik kay Baluwalyo. Velasco. Pabuwalan. Forward pass for Mauring. Hindi nakuha ang bola. Babalik sa goalkeeper. Torrego. Ito na ang Don Bosco Garelli United. Baloalio with the clearance once more for Philippine Air Force. Now a long ball forward looking for Gio Pabuala. Great first touch from Zurbito. Makukuha ni Nio ang bola, ngunit hindi niya mapapanatili ang bola para sa kanilang side. Throw in for Philippine Air Force. Last touch ayon sa ating referee ni Nio. Nakikita na natin ang tuloy FC na warm up dito sa ating kaliwa at sa ating kanan ng Philippine Army. Tutukan natin ang laban na yan at 6.30pm dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium. Villanueva. Abraham is there to cover for possession. Six minutes ang idadagdag ng ating fourth official sa ating laban. Neo. Nakukuha ulit ng Air Force ang bola. Ngunit babalik ito sa depensa ng Philippine Air Force. De La Riarte to Bedia. Time is running out for Don Bosco Garelli. They have about five minutes based on our fourth official's call to add six to this game. Yanti Barsales with his first touch back in the top flight Philippine club football. A ring. Ahabulin. Hindi niya makuwang bola. Throw in for Don Bosco Garelli. Couple more players who will be seeing action in the Copa Paulino Alcantara watching us. Marco Cauyong and MJ Libre, if you're not mistaken, of Manila Digger FC watching our stream towards the end of the match. Kabalikan bola sa Philippine Air Force with about four minutes and a few seconds remaining in this game. Or rather, throw in for Don Bosco Garelli. Air Force just clearing it out. Keeping this 1-0 advantage over Don Bosco. Vijay Frigiliano leaves it out for a throw in. Long ball forward. Barsales with the interception. Bedia couldn't keep it in play. So throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. Frustration coming in now for the young guns. And look at this guy, Yanti Barsales. Maybe old, but he's still playing the game. Through pass, couldn't get it through. Now Don Bosco with a chance of a counter-attack of their own. Villanueva, clearance by Abraham. Neo going for the ball. Villanueva taken down. No foul, says the referee. Babalik ang bola sa Don Bosco Garelli. Neo Inside the box. Chance for Garelli. Player number 13, that's Dennis Maglinas. Just couldn't get a touch to the ball and give them a chance for a strike on target. 
Ball will go out for Philippine Air Force. Goal kick. One final substitution for Philippine Air Force as Herbert Bayona is coming in. So Velasco checks out for Herbert Bayona. Two minutes in this game with Don Bosco mounting on the pressure and their counter-attack. Can they get a late equalizer here as the defense of Philippine Air Force are just resting from the back? No pressure being put on right now by Don Bosco Garelli. So plenty of time for Philippine Air Force to play from the back. Now the clearance. Ball goes out. Throw in for Don Bosco Garelli United. Abada. Babalik ang bola sa Philippine Air Force. Now Garelli gets possession once more. Dorego intercepted by Philippine Air Force. Here's a through pass but deflected by player number 22, Christian Zorbito. But here's the counter-attack. Yanti Barsales off to the races. De Sola commits and clears the ball out for a throw in. Possibly the last play of the game for Philippine Air Force. Now, final attack for the boys in orange to get a late equalizer. Dorego with the ball. De La Cruz missed the volley. Ball goes to the back. Maureen puts on the pressure. Then Bosco stays with it. Inside the box, the ball goes out. Corner for Don Bosco Garelli United. Last roll of the dice for Don Bosco Garelli. Their second corner of the match. Their final corner most likely. And would it give them the late equalizer in this game? What an opening fixture we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the delivery, headed out by Baloalio. And the referee calls time in their return to the club football scene. The Philippine Air Force FC soared high thanks to Dari Poderoso on the 46th minute. Philippine Air Force scored the goal and the only goal of the match and gets them their three points in their opening fixture against Don Bosco Garelli United. But the boys from Don Bosco, keep your heads held up high. You've made it difficult for one of the veterans of the game in Philippine Air Force FC. And you'll have plenty more action in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. With that, Opening fixture of the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara victory goes in favor of Philippine Air Force FC thanks to Dari Poderoso on the 46th minute. Exchange of pleasantries between the two sides, the young blood and the old ones showing respect to each and everybody. But with that, we say goodbye as it's Philippine Air Force 1, 
Don Bosco Garelli Neil will leave you with the highlights and we'll see you in the next game as Tuloy FC goes up against Philippine Air Force FC in the continuation of the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara this has been Jamer De La Cruz thank you and we'll see you on the next game